religious coach Dave Dobbenmeyer, who we've talked about before, doesn't understand what's so special about homosexuality that people get upset when he criticizes gay people. And he was reminiscing very, very uh, fondly of when we considered homosexuality a mental illness. Listen to this. No, nobody does that, but they always accuse me of being a gay basher. Folks, I'm going to make this clear. I love the homosexual. I don't love what he does, but I love him the same way that I would love a, a an alcoholic, same way that I would love a drug addict. There was a day when we used to think that some, some, time, some type of behaviors were, were uh, mental illnesses. It wasn't that long ago we used to think that. We think today that alcoholism is a mental illness, don't we? Probably. Schizophrenic pedophilia, we think that's a mental illness. Well, there was a day when we used to think that that uh, being gay, homosexual, was a mental illness. Yeah, so there's Coach Dave. This is actually uh, completely absurd. This is absurd on so many levels. First of all, the whole remember what we used to do when we didn't really understand stuff isn't a very good argument for why we should still consider homosexuality a mental illness. Remember what we used to do to so-called witches? Would be, be Should we be reminiscing fondly about that? And what's with the obsession with going back to how things were? Humans have been wrong about so much. Does he want to go back to when we believe that the earth was flat? I think that we should go back to 1986, which is when homosexuality was actually removed from DSM, which is kind of like the manual of mental illnesses and conditions and ask ourselves, shouldn't religious delusion be what replaces it? That's the question we should be asking. That is a good question. And unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen, but uh, it does kind of get a little blurry when you're talking about mental illness or uh, just brainwashing from a young age. There, absolutely, no question about it. And we, we, we certainly have to ask those who are raised completely anti-gay, for example, have they been brainwashed? Are they mentally ill if they think that? These are serious questions, Lewis. Uh, I, I hope that Coach Dave Dobbenmeyer is able to explore these in detail. I don't really think we're going to be seeing that segment on his show anytime soon. No, I think Coach Coach Dave is a lost cause. We'll just have to uh, check up on him every now and again and see what outrageous things he's saying. There was a day when schizophrenia was considered to be a form of demonic possession, and we know that's not true. So uh, listen to everybody now who tells you that if you're gay, you have these demons inside of you. And I think at some point we'll look back and realize it's a very different situation. I don't know if people like Coach Dave ever will, but I would assume that five or six generations down from Coach Dave, this uh, very bizarre point of view that he holds will have been uh, aged out, I think is the best way to say it. Brian Kaplan, economist Brian Kaplan, joins me next.